DEXA scans are not accurate. So this is the holy grail of body thing. No, it's not. My freaking eyeballs are the holy grail of freaking body fat testing. Coach Greg, and today what I'm going to do is I'm going to select some of your favorite YouTubers and I'm going to give you what their actual body fat percentage is more likely to be. Now, mind you, this is obviously never going to be 100% accurate, but my predictions are certainly going to be more accurate than a DEXA scan or whatever bod pod skin full, whatever test these guys are using. Often they're sharing you and saying, oh, I'm five, close to 6% fat, I'm 10% fat, blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, almost everyone is five percentage points of fat higher than what they're sharing. The reason for this video is to basically educate you on what body fat percentages look like and how lean you have to be, what does your body have to look like to be that actual percent. It's so often like over underestimated people's body fat percentage. Get it all the time. No way you're that low. No way you're that high. No one seems to have any clue as to how much body fat people really have. And I watch these uh, freaking annoying videos from these YouTubers and are like, oh, I'm almost 6% body fat. I'm close to 5%, like Greg O'Gallagher. And I'm looking at his pictures and I'm like, you're like eight weeks out from show shape and here you are saying you're almost 5% body fat. It's like, come on, no you're not. So I'm gonna expose per se and say what percents there really are. Now, for example, DEXA scans are not accurate. So this is the holy grail of body fat testing. No, it's not. My freaking eyeballs are the holy grail of freaking body fat testing. You don't need to tell me, oh, I did a freaking DEXA scan and I'm this fat, what do you know? DJ Metcalf had 1.6% body fat on a stupid body fat test. Physically impossible to survive at that low of a level. Way wrong. Those stupid advanced tests are often four and five percentage points under or over. So you could walk in and it could say you're 10%. You might be six. You might be crazy shredded or you're 10%, it might say you're 15. Useless. So let's get into it. I'm gonna start with Jeff Nipper. Jeff D Nipper did a video, and in the video he was talking about how, how to bulk up with muscle and lose fat at the same time type thing, like how to eat, his diet, and the whole thing. In the video, he's flexing, doing his thing, and he's like, yeah, I'm 10% body fat. I'm like, come on. 10% body fat. And all I have to do is use mathematical reasoning to understand that it's not possible that he's 10%. If you're 10% body fat, that is 5% away from being mind blowing shredded. When I say mind blowing shredded, I mean so lean that if somebody sees you at the gym, they'll be like, what the hell's wrong with that guy? 5% is stupid peeled. 4% is the leanest I ever was in my life, dehydrated in a professional bodybuilding contest on a shit ton of anabolics and fat burners and feeling like garbage. I'm like not even functioning at 4%. 4% is leaner than I was at my last show. It's really hard to be 4%. So if Jeff's 10, that means that if he loses 5% more body fat, he would be as lean as I am in my last show. 5%, he weighs 160s, that's eight pounds. You really think that Jeff only needs to lose eight pounds of fat to be arguably the leanest guy in a professional bodybuilding competition. He has 15 to 20 pounds of fat. Jeff is closer to 15% in that, and he's closer to 15% in the picture that I showed today, I would say higher than 15%. So probably 16 to 17%. I'm looking at his Instagram today. It's November 26. He's posts, he's in shorts, he's doing this. That's over 15%, okay? I'm just under 6% now, and I did a show. 
and I'll show you some pictures. I was just under 5% at this competition. And I mean, you can see I have decent striations. This is under 6%, very, very lean. And I'm only one and a half weeks removed from a professional bodybuilding competition. This is not a sustainable, easy body fat to maintain. Okay, so Jeff, you're 15% at best. Stop saying 10%. It's screwing with people's minds because then when they write me and say they're 10%, they're thinking, well, Jeff's 10, I look like Jeff, so I'm probably 10, but it's 15, so add 5%. May as well show myself next. I'm a YouTube guy now, so there you go. So, I'm gonna show some pictures of me at my ultimate leanest. This is just at that 4% zone when I placed eighth or ninth, I can't remember, eighth or ninth at the Toronto Pro in 2016. I placed one spot ahead of John Meadows, who was also probably in that 4% range. Mind blowing, crazy, stupid, shredded. Not, no body fat. Glute striations everywhere. Hamstrings peeled. Cross striations and quads. Chest, it has to be cut from here to here. It's not, oh, can you see your abs? It's how deep are the cuts in your abs? It's not, can you see your delt striations? It's how deep are the striations? And when you turn around and you do a Christmas tree, it's not, oh, you have a Christmas tree. It's, holy shit, I can't believe the Christmas tree. That's 4% body fat. Mind-blowing, calves, 17 crossway lines everywhere. You need to be so lean that you look at your own self and think, how can a human being look like this? I literally was in the gym when I was at, in that 4.5% range and be like, I can't believe what I'm saying. I can't believe the body can look like this. Obviously not from natural status, but being enhanced, dried out, and it looks sick, okay? So that's me. My last show is under 5%, still quite lean. 4% is just mind-blowing. 3% is needed to survive, as in you die under that level. So if you're at 4%, you only have 1% to go before you can die. What happens when you're that lean? Hello? UPS. Okay, I'll buzz you in. Okay. All right, that's interruption. I'm sponsored by a meal plan. Well, I might be sponsored. They sent me eight meals to try out. If I like it, I'm going to go with them. And I don't know what... I'll explain it later in a video. Maybe this will make the edits or not. Anyway, I'm going to have to pause this because at the door is meals. I was 4.5%. If you get to 3, you could die. 1%, that's 2 pounds of fat. So if I lost 2 more pounds of fat... I could literally have died. That's how lean 4% is. So stop saying you're 4 or 5% body fat unless you look stupid. Next up, Greg O'Gallagher. He made a video saying, I'm almost 5% body fat. I'm only 1% away. And it was his diet to getting to 5% body fat, which is the worst diet. It's like fasting and junk food and he brags about how he gets to eat all this food at once instead of spreading it out. I'm like, man, I eat more than that five times a day. And it's like, uh, I don't know. Of course, I'm enhanced, but well, actually, I'm not on anything now. So I don't know. Anyway, he said he's close to 5% body fat. He said he's about a week away from being the leanest he ever was in his life. In a video, he's flexing, and he's standing and doing his thing. He's about 9% body fat. He's under 10. He's very lean. He looks good. I'm not trying to insult him in that way. His physique looks good. He's, I don't know, he's like six foot tall at 175 pounds, but he's not 5% fat. If he was five or 6% fat, that means if he lost 2% fat, which is about three to four pounds, he would be lean as I was in my show. He's not even lean enough to compete in a men's physique contest, let alone a professional bodybuilding type show he has 10 or more pounds of fat to lose to be shredded not one he looks great he looks good on the beach but to be five percent is beyond good on the beach it is insane stupid mind-blowing crazy redonkulous shredded so once you think you're super ready you're so shredded then lose five or ten pounds more fat then you look silly, okay? 
So that's Greg O'Gallagher. Next up, Brandon Harding, who I'm coaching. He just recently sent his progress photos. He's 242 pounds. He's six foot one, and he's about 15% body fat, which is great. That is lean. It's not shredded. It's not show ready, but for an off season bodybuilder, it looks damn good. So if you're 15% and I say, people write me all the time and I tell them like, yeah, you're 20%. They get all butt hurt and insult. Oh, ugh. it's like, look at Brandon and he's 15%. They're, they'll be like, yeah, my goal is to be about 10% body fat. I'll show them a picture. Somebody like Brandon, I'll say that's 15%. They'll see that and be like, yeah, if I could ever get to that percent, I'd be like beyond excited. 15% is freaking lean for most people. So stop saying you need to be 10% single digits. No, 15% is lean. It is good. It is healthy. A lot of people, they judge me. They think I need everyone to be shredded. And if they hire me, they have to be on a diet the whole time and you have to be losing. No. It's just most people hire me are obese or fat, so I'm trying to get them to healthy. It's not my fault you're obese or fat. Blame your freaking parents or yourself for not putting the stupid fork down and eating uncontrollably all the time. Next, Jeff Cavalier. A lot of people are writing me hundreds, so I have to pick this. The body fat percentage stated by or for Jeff are all over the map. So this is what he really is. He's in the 8% zone. He's very, very lean. He's leaner than Greg O'Gallagher. He is lean. 8%, not 5, not 5.8, 8, okay? He is ripped, but not show shredded, stupid, cross striated glutes, thighs just popping with veins and no fat and hamstrings with deep side cuts. You need to look silly to have 5%. Again, so Jeff Cavalier, about 8% body fat. David Laid, a lot of comments I got on how much body fat they thought he had and whatnot. David Laid at his leanest ever was around 6%. He was 6% when he was a kid, like a teenager, shredded, no muscle, but just peeled. Peel, like abs just popping out. Now, at his today, normal, regular, every day, not photo shoot ready, not I'm on a diet to look good for this one day. He's walking around at about 10% body fat. So that's what 10% body fat looks like. David Lade, who has really lean, full six pack. You have a full six pack, not in good lighting, all the lighting. In the freaking black, you have a six pack. If you can't feel all six, bump, 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 bump. You don't have 10% body fat. Don't give me the bullshit about, oh, I store it in my legs. I store it in my upper body. What about different body types in it? Yeah, yeah. No, you need abs. I don't care where your fat is, and I'm not an idiot. I have a Kines master's degree. I know more about this shit than 99.99% .99 of the people writing me. They're like, oh, Greg, you didn't understand it. You didn't consider that fat distributions of males and females. Shut up. I, I can't under, I am so frustrated. It's like being a professor, arguing with six year olds that don't know anything. I can't even explain them the answer because they're too stupid to realize that they're wrong and they don't want to learn anything. Okay. If you don't have a full six pack, I don't care. You can't be 10% fat. No one's going to have so much fat in their stomachs and nowhere else that they're going to have like 8% body fat. You don't get guys with cross striated quads, cross striated glutes, striated pecs, delts, back, Christmas tree, and a gut. No, it doesn't work like that. No one stores fat in only one spot. No one stores all their fat in their stomach. If you have fat stomach, you probably got fat back. It works out, okay? So David laid 10%. Next up, Vitaly. On Instagram, it says King Vitaly. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I don't know how to pronounce anything. So don't, just bear in mind. He's got like 3.1 million followers on Instagram. I think like 10 million on YouTube. He used to do jokes and stuff. I only recently started following him because he's been like saying he's competing and all this stuff and everyone asked me about him. He's around eight to 9% body fat in his most recent video. He is really lean and he's been dieting and he's been on three years of anabolic straight and the whole thing. But 
If you watch this video where he's like, I don't know, he promotes some drink or something. It's like a minute video and he's flexing and doing crossovers. That's 8 to 9%. It's definitely sub 10%. He has really good abs. He's really lean. And he's gotten into that below 10% range. I first took note of him when somebody sent me his uh, Insta stories picture. And I looked at the picture and the guy was like, what percent do you think he is really? And I was like... 14 but that was like i don't know whatever months ago whatever picture it didn't look good but he's way leaner than that now and so eight to nine percent fat that means if he were to drop three to four percent body fat dude would be shredded so that's quite lean and notice eight to nine percent bit leaner than david laid similar to jeff cavalier way leaner than jeff nippard if Jeff is 10, then this guy would be 5. And then if this guy's 5, I would be 1. And if I'm 1, some some guy would be negative 1, which is obviously impossible, okay? Next up, Chris Bumstead, Mr. Olympia Classic Physique. This dude is shredded. He's always freaking ripped. Now, when he competes on stage at his leanest, just under 5% body fat. Truly, that is shredded. He's Mr. Olympia. He has to be shredded. Now, if he's a couple weeks out, for example, he's got a picture, he's doing a back double bicep, and in that photo, he's in the sixes, so under 7% body fat. So a few weeks out, so as in two to three weeks before he steps on stage under five, he's under seven. So then the last couple weeks, you know, last three weeks, he loses about one and a half to 2% body fat, which is what everyone does in general. Now, more recently, as in 11 days ago, he posted a workout, he's training. He's still only in the seven to maybe seven and a half percent range in that video. So his off season is still really lean. He competed in September, October, two months later, two months later, he's in the sevens for body fat. That's off season. So those of you thinking, oh, you need to bulk up in the off season, Mr. Olympia sure isn't bulked up. And why bulk up? I mean, get fat. He's not fat. He's not, I have to push 300 pounds so that I can put on any muscle. I, we all know he needs to improve his arms. and We all know he could improve his back. Although his back is still way better than mine. And his, well, his biceps are not great. But anyway, other than that, he's pretty phenomenal. It's just over 7%. So if you think you're shredded and you don't look like Chris Bumstead, you ain't shredded because he's seven point something percent body fat. That is very lean and not maintainable in the off season for most people, including me. I would be just feeling like garbage if two months after a show, I was still at 7% body fat. For me, my natural tendency to go to around 10 to 12% where I can actually have energy and feel good, okay? It's just some information to take note. Everyone's body fat is going to be different in terms of where they feel comfortable at, where they can train at, where they can grow at. Some people might be 8%, like Chris. Some people might be 18%. Everyone's different, okay? Simeon Panda. Everyone knows who this guy is. He's so famous for being natural and awesome and built like amazing. Um, he has so many followers. He's not as lean as you're going to think he is. So I looked at several of his videos. And mind you, when he diets, does the diuretics, oh, I mean, he's natural. When he, when he diets and doesn't take diuretics and just shows up and he just maybe just didn't drink water for a few hours, he's like shredded, like probably 6% body fat. So he looks really good. His abs are pronounced and he stands out. It's just a good body for showing muscle. He's actually 10% body fat. When was he 10%? He's 10% right now. Now, as in today, he's 10% body fat. So why don't you have a look at his video from November 23rd, because that's like three days ago. And it's called the five best supersets to build a bigger chest and back and fastest. That's what it's called. You watch him in the video. He's got muscle everywhere. His abs are clearly showing. Everything is there. But that's 10%. That's literally what 10% looks like. So Simeon Panda hired me and said, Coach Greg, I want to do Classic Physique Natty Show. I'm going to enter that show. You know, what are we going to do? 
I'm going to say, based on your physique, he has to diet for 10 weeks. That's really good. That is very lean. So I'm not insulting him or putting him down. I'm not so calling him fat here. 10-week diet, 10%. I'd have him shredded. 5% on stage, probably win. Okay? He's great. He has a great build. Amazing. Fantastic. Like, you know, it's just, it's that good. But it's 10% body fat. You got to be realistic. What that means is he's 5% over where he needs to be. So if he weighs, I don't know what he weighs. Let's say he weighs 250 pounds. If he weighs 250 pounds, he'd have to lose about 12 pounds of fat and then obviously lose another like 10 pounds of water. If he's 200 pounds, he's got 10 pounds of pure fat to lose and the water. So say he's 250. He's going to have to lose about 12 pounds of fat, about 12 pounds of water, 25 pounds. He's going to compete at 225 if he's walking around at 250 right now. So as lean as he is, for those of you, when I answer your questions, I'm like, you're going to have to lose 40 pounds. Don't, don't write me. Greg, Greg, I'm 200. I want to be 185 at my next show. Yeah, no chance in hell. You will never do this. You will be 160 at most. And they get mad. And I'm like, hey, who do you think you just wrote? I'm not going to bull, you know, I'm not going to lie to you. So, if you're looking like him and you weigh 200 pounds, you need to lose 20 pounds for your show. You're going to be 180 on stage. He, if he's 200, he's not five pounds off. 20, okay? That is how lean you have to be. You show me a guy with shredded abs looking amazing. Chances are 20 pounds they have to lose to be show ready. So when you see all these guys reporting their weights on stage, you know, the 212 Olympia, Chris Bumstead at 230, classic physique, six foot tall. They are shredded 20 pounds bigger. When Chris Bumstead is on the Mr. Olympia stage at 230, shredded, when he's 245, eight weeks out, he looks shredded. He looks mind-blowing, leaner than this guy. So trust me, they are big guys. Don't just go by what they weigh on stage. Like me and my pathetic little, oh, Greg's a man, 185 pounds I weigh in at. But I'm also 198 the day before the actual contest looking pretty freaking shredded. So it's water weight that you're losing. So you're actually a lot heavier than you think you are. Okay, that wraps it up. Hopefully that covered enough of somebody famous that you follow. And maybe I shocked you and surprised you, but at least you're now informed. We're going to bloop up some more videos over here. Check that one out. Check this out. Subscribe. Click the bell button. Do it. Subscribe. Click bell. I'll yell at you some more. GregDuset.com for coaching. Greg Doucette, IFBB Pro, to watch a lot of my natty pictures and the photos from the old days and just to keep up and debate. Till next time, I am out.